Greetings, lords and ladies, Kaiser here, and welcome to another episode of our Novo Monumenta Japonia Historica. So, when last we left off, we um <laughs> we had finally, finally dealt a defeat to the Rokako over here. They now only have four k units we have roughly 27k almost 28 uh when we're at full power we will have 34 thousand units sorry not even 34 but then we also have to count uh, count the retinue sorry I, I don't know what what's up with my pronunciation today so 34 plus the what is it 3,000 so 37,000 units we have available uh, to fight the Rokakos 4000. Hopefully some other clans also decided maybe, maybe now that the Ora clan has weakened the Rokako, they might actually step in and start taking lands as well. Um, of course we do still have units over here that are up. Uh, where are the directly... Uh, direct vassals of ours? Wait, we actually hold land over there? What? Oh, is this the part of land that I actually gave my son, I guess? Ah, uh, Anone! <laughs> we should probably, probably give that piece of land away so that we don't go over our domain size. But then again, then again, right? Uh, what is this E? Okay, so the closest one is Akumi. Let's get to Akumi and um, disband our units. What's going on over here? Are, is this army going towards... Yeah, they're attacking the... Um, unholy! <laughs> the unholy Ainu over here in um, in Hokkaido. I was kind of worried that they were actually attacking the Russo over there, who we, of course, intend on attacking. Soon. As soon as we get our units... Okay, and let's just start playing. Let's get our units home into Akumi. Uh, also, our council is apparently somewhat distorted, or rather discontent, not distorted, what... Uh, Nagao Tsunayasu, Soma Munehisa, and Nagao Hirano... Wait, okay, so you are over there. As soon as we take down the Jinbo, that's probably gonna be a new duchy, so you will be out of my hair in no time. What about you? Oh, you're the guy that actually took the Nagao lands over there. That is... I'm still upset over that. Uh, then we have Soma Munehisa over here. No idea why he actually joined any sort of factions. This belongs under Iwaki, which we cannot yet create until we get one more piece of land. And that's gonna be, look at that! That's gonna be the Rus land right there. As soon as we get that, we're gonna be able to create the Duchy of Iwaki, which means that we will have a de jure claim on three more uh, Rokaku lands over there. What about Minamiyoshi? Oh. Damn, okay, yeah. They are definitely in... Oh, no, wait. They are not in... Uh... They do not control more than that. Oh, my lord. Okay, so if we take that piece of land, we're actually going to be able to also create the kingdom of Minami Oshu and have claim over all of that. Oh, Rokaku, you better watch out. I know it's just a small part of your land, but good god. The more bits and pieces we take from them, the better. Uh, to the glorious Daidamyo Oromichitsugu. Okay, so that's our name, Oromichitsugu, yeah. I'm, I'm still not used to being called Michitsugu. We were Tokinobu uh, until last episode, of course. Peace be with you, we've decided to offer you the position of commander, do you accept? Are we good as a commander? We definitely are, but shouldn't I be commanding our own forces, my lord? That does ha I mean, that does give us a part in the... In the Ashikaga Shogunate, so uh, we would not be able to join any factions if we accept this, would we? No, we still can't. Right, we're not in the council yet. We're just a commander. Just, he says. Yo ho ho. Uh, wait, you are in control of that entire place, and you are at war for Soyaunkur. So if we check Soyaunkur, uh, it's probably this part right here, right? Oh boy. That's a very big part of that. 
Hopefully they, <laughs> hopefully the Ashikaga realize that the Ora basically have control over the entirety of Hokkaido, and just keep giving us control over all of that land. That would be awesome. Set Chrome Focus. Oh good God, we do not yet have a Chrome Focus. I completely missed that. Okay, so Chrome Focus. Sawata, Akumi, Yuri, Ogatsuchi, Yamamoto, Hina, Hiyama, Akita, Iwaki, Ninoa. Why is Tsugaru at the very bottom? Come on, that was our. Is it? So, no, it's not alphabetical, so why <laughs> why is Tsugaru the last one? Come on! Tsugaru was our capital all the way up till now, and it will continue to be. So in the last war, we also learned that we definitely, definitely, definitely need a lot more gold. Um, in order to actually lead these gigantic wars if we want to raise our entire levies. Call for the core physician, of course. You are has declared Daimyo Shichiro Cho-san were to revoke Higashi. Sure, you can revoke a few things, why not? Um, I'm absolutely fine with that. That is pretty much why I gave you control over all of those lands, so that you would take control from the uh, Ainu Barbarians. I'm, I'm sorry to any Ainu, I just realized, yeah, there are still people belonging to the Ainu lineage, and I'm sorry for saying that just, uh, right now. Uh, it's just that in this game, they are considered the unholy, like, essentially animistic uh, peoples. So no offense meant to you whatsoever, I respect every each and single religion out there, as long as it's not some sort of satanic weird BS. Uh, <laughs> which animism it definitely is not. Um, if anything, paganism was considering they were legitimately uh, sacrificing humans. Pretty sure animism doesn't do that. Uh, okay, so all of our units are now down, so let us check what could be the possible wars that we could declare against the Rokaku. Claim Achi. No, 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 wait. We could claim the entirety of Iwashiro if we gave land to this guy. But of course, in 10 years. So either this guy dies or we die. This guy... Ah, oh God, 47. Could we not have survived until the end of this war? I'm just sad about that. Like, if we survive till the end of this war, that means that we would not have had any tr truces. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm hiccuping right now. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Um, that we would not be having any sort of truces whatsoever. Okay, so you're at war. Yeah, you're attacking. So what if I attack you? Haha! <laughs> Um, I can do the sure claim. I can claim. Uh, border dispute or just conquer. Uh, I definitely want this piece. So, Kata. Do you have a jure claim on Miyagi? That's only that part. What about claim Kata? Yeah, but that guy is not one of our own lords. So, that would not work. So, either we go do border dispute or we just straight up go for conquest. That would cost us 100 toku. But, good god, if we actually took Kata, that would enable us to create the kingdom over here that would give us a claim against the Rokaku, like against a very, very large part of the Rokaku lands. So, uh, sorry, not border dispute, um, but conquest of Kata. There we go. So, we could just conquer Kata. Because, yeah, uh, what sort of lands do you control? That's under Iwaki. What about over here? Uh, that is under Clan Rikuzen. Who this guy controls, so we could do a war. Oh, I see. That's why it actually offered for Miyagi for him. Nobody actually has a claim on Kata, but Kata is the one that we are definitely interested in. So, yeah, we're just gonna do Conquest of Kata. Those guys are already fighting over there. Uh, I'm just wondering, do we raise, like, I don't know, do we raise our Akumi units over here? How many can we raise? 734. We definitely need to build up this place. Look at that. There are no castles or anything built here just yet. There's still castle villages that can be built here. Good God, I completely forgot that now that we control all of these lands, we should be building them up. What am I doing? What am I thinking? Of course we want... You guys know me. I absolutely love a good economy. And right now that we have the truce with the Rokaku, we can definitely focus on the economy a little bit more. Castle villages no longer can be built. There can be one more over here. Uh, we've already built here, right? Yes, son... Ninoe, sorry. Nothing here. Nothing here. Uh, a castle dojo could be built here, but I would much rather not do that and just go to Tsugaru and see if we can actually build a castle. No. No, we already maxed out castle towns over here. Good god. Um Yeah, okay. Okay, okay. Um 
That's gonna be it then, because yeah, 80, 83... Let me see, where do I want, do we want to raise... I would love to have direct vassals not show, like, just us that being directly vassals to the Ashikaga, but also my own direct vassals. Uh, is there a way to actually see that? I don't think there is. Cultures, economy, there's your duchies, there's your kingdoms, there's your empires, revolt race dynasties, opinions, direct vassals, trade zones, nope. Nope, there's no way for me to actually see, but there should be like, is this the guy that has like 3,000 units? No, is this the guy that has like 3,000 units? That's 1,000. What about you? That's 1,200. It would be enough to actually beat this guy up. So we could do that. Just raise these guys, raise these guys. Do you have... Anybody else here have any units that I could raise? That's 266. You know, one of the things that I've been wondering about doing is um, actually go into the realms or at our obligations and just say that the nobles, aka the owners of castles and whatnot, should give us a certain amount of levies. So their taxes would go down, but their levies would go up. Noble vassal max levy sh would go up. They would be somewhat upset at this change, however. Um... So far, all of our vassals actually love us, so maybe this change would not sh would not do too much harm. Let's do it. Boom. Okay, so now they're obligated to give us more uh, of their vassals. Let's just move this army over here, move that army into there to help. Heck no, I will not be sending in our retinues. It's probably cheaper to just send like a part of our levies in. Because the retinue, um, the retinue re-recruitment, or, sorry, what is it called? Reinforcement is just way, 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 way too high right now. Uh, can I also raise your units over here? 85, that's nothing. Wait, what, are you direct? <gasps> you guys are my direct vassals. That is not good. I should have, like, a... There should be, like, a duke over there that would have control over all of this. So you, plus all of these guys, should gather up right over there. You should go over there, you should go in and help that. Actually, no, don't, because they're about to lose, and I do want you to be under the command of the most capable generals. Wait, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Most capable gen- For God's sakes, why is it doing that? No, boom, okay? I don't know what- did I click too high? I guess, did I click over here and it just basically sent me- Oh, did I click that and it sent me- Ah, I see, okay, so I clicked the, uh, leading troops in Oshika, so basically that icon right there and it sent me to where the general was actually located. Got it! As you walk along your library's corridors, you wonder if you will ever have time to read- read even half of the books stored here. There's always time for a good book. So we would further lose fertility. Do we actually have... I mean, we do have a son, but we only have one. And there is no guarantee he's actually gonna survive. Um, When I get the chance, I will read something interesting. So we... Uh, either way, we get a point of reading. It's just that our fertility would go further down. We are only 32, so we can definitely still have kids. Good God, our wife is possessed. Okay, so maybe... I mean, possession, like... Satanic rituals sometimes include a lot of erotic things, so maybe we would actually get lucky. She has fertility plus 15 due to her, her might as such. Uh, oh god, she's chaste though, so that's essentially just completely negated. Uh, maybe we didn't pick too well when we picked this wife. Though she was young at the time, let's not forget that, as well as her high stewardship um, enables us to have the, the main size 16. Um, there's always time for a good book, or when I get the chance I will read something interesting. L let's just do that one, let's just get one point of learning, and uh, allow ourselves to still have maybe a chance in actually getting a child. Six week claims can be pressed, uh, or any... Claims against anybody else that is not ro uh, the Rokaku. Oh, these guys are not Rokaku. Claims for Bosho. Where is Bosho? Bosho. Chiba. 
Chiba's dad, Hanyu. Hanyu Kazusa. Kazusa Kozuke. Isn't like Kozuke that part over there, so. Yeah, we would not be getting. Musashi, on the other hand, look at that! <gasps> we could gain all of that land under us if we just. And that's a clan. That's not a kingdom, that's a clan. We could actually push for that. As soon as we're done with the Rusu. I just need to give this guy a piece of land. Perhaps we actually will give up the uh, island of Salata over there. Or Sado. And uh, push for his claim in Musashi. I mean, it's not like the Rokako are actually strong enough right now to, ta to take on the Uesugi, right? They do have 5,000, while the Uesugi have... 5,000, yeah, okay. So right now there would be they would be equally uh equally strong. Are they heading into Miyagi? Yes they are. They are. Okay, so that's their entire army essentially in Miyagi right now. They're trying to take something. What are they trying to take? And why are they trying to take it? Are you defending against Oda Michinago? I'm confused. Is there something over there that's a part of my empire? Nope, that one's yours. Ah, this one's mine! I see! Aha! Uh -huh. That's what they're trying to take. Well, okay, let's uh, stop them from taking that, shall we? Um, keep this information to ourselves, probably, right? Yeah, that's 100... Uh, 100... Uh, relation, we do not want to lose that. So we will move into Miyagi over here. Where are you going? Into Okitama. Do we just send all of our remaining units into Okitama, perhaps into Mogami? I do want to see that force fall, but... Let's see, do we, um... There's also the question of... That requires almost 3,000 units in order to be successfully taken down, so I definitely, definitely want to get some more... Additional units over there, so I guess I will be raising some more of our own units. Isawa, Yamamoto... Yeah, these guys are all ours. And you know what, I'll even send... Yes, I'll, I will even send our retinues to do a siege, as long as they don't have to fight. So we'll do a siege and gather all of these guys together over here. In order to fight their army, defeat it quickly, gain some quick... Uh, some quick war score. Yeah, you're not gonna be lucky. Um, but don't worry, more help is coming in to take that, though that's not the war goal this is. Which requires roughly this many units. Just stay there. You can actually take that. If I send like 200 more units towards you. So everything else that is not those 263, let me get rid of that. Gather them together. Put a bunch of very good commanders over here. Oh, wait. We're actually leading armies. Let's prevent ourselves from doing that. We definitely do not want to die in a horrible, horrible war accident. Because right now we're in a good situation. All of our vassals actually like us, which is absolutely perfect. Okay, and they should still be strong enough to take on, uh, to take on that army. Uh, these guys are about to take Miyagi, or rather start taking it. Uh, these guys are taking Kata. We will defeat their army very, very soon, and that will be the Rusu lands, or rather at least Kata, belong to us. Okay, yeah, there you go. There you go. There you go. You should not be that upset at me anymore. Good, good opinion. The predecessor is pretty good, though that will go away in literally less than a year. But he now does not have the negative 40% for wanting to be a chancellor, or rather a part of our part of our council, so I will send you straight to the Ashikaga lands to start trying to figure out how to make our relationship better with the new child emperor that is literally one year old. Good god. What's up with the factions? Does anybody want to increase council power independence? Like, if we join this guy, we could potentially have the strength. Nope, only 66. Never mind. I was like, maybe we could actually have the strength to fight the Ashikaga right now. The scholars of your court have asked your permission to use library for personal use. Uh, we could share it and gain a bunch of stuff. Why would we not choose that one? Of course, of course we will. 
Uh, we can go into either... I think we wait for Noble Customs right here. It's literally just 50 more points, I think. Oh no, 150 more points. Well, we can still wait for that and just have the Noble Customs be at maximum, plus 24 to Feudal Vassal Opinion. That should slightly um, make things better as far as them hitting our other choices, our other decisions. That will be helpful, and after that we'll just go into, I guess, Majesty? Tolerance or Legalism. I think we go into Majesty after that, or make popular customs better so that city vassals don't hate us as much. And perhaps we can even, uh, by increasing their, t uh, we could increase their taxes and have them not hate us as much with the popular customs. So that might also work. Uh, over here we do have siege equipment at maximum. I, I'm trying to think what we actually want to go for. Perhaps go for heavy infantry or cavalry. What are our, uh, readiness right now made of? Mostly... I mean, the heavy infantry bonuses would definitely come in handy, so I guess we'll go into heavy infantry afterwards. And after that, perhaps either into cavalry or another point into heavy infantry. Um, though I think the cavalry will be up by then. We'll see. We'll see what happens there. I am, of course, also looking at the military organization because I absolutely love having a large retinue. Granted, I hate using the retinue as much, simply due to the fact that the reinforcements costs are very very high there we go we won the first battle against them where are you going nishi okitama uh so nishi wait that is western yeah western okitama essentially wait nishi higashi kita i bloody forgot M M Mina minami minami there we go minami minami south if I remember correctly, please, somebody, if anyone, like, if any of the modders or anything, like, I know most of you are Japanese, so if any of you know for sure, or that, of course you know, just correct me if I'm wrong. So, Kita, Minami, Nishi, Higashi. Those are the four points of the, uh, of, um, direction, right? I think so. Good God, my Japanese is rusty. Ah. Oh. <laughs> and yes, I am embarrassed because I study Japanese. You know, and that is also one of the reasons why I absolutely hate myself for not knowing what the Shobojirei that we agreed upon actually was. Like, the Shobojirei prevents vassal wars, but... And I wrote my diploma um, with the topic of um, the uh, comparison of European and Japanese feudalism. You know that the Shobojirei definitely 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 came up in at least one of the uh, books that I had to go through in order to gather the um, information for my stuff the Rokaku control that land why do they control that land I thought that land was all given to us what the hell died after disagreement with a meal and that guy was one of mine no, that was an Uesugi Lord, so what gives? I thought... Didn't we take all of those lands? Those lands are all supposed to be ours, not the Rokaku. Oh, damn, Rokaku. Okay, maybe we should watch out for the Vassal Inheritance a little bit more. They might actually be able to take the uh, those lands as well from us if we don't watch out. Oh my god! Okay, so maybe it's more dangerous than I thought. Um, you, you're 25, come on, get a what? can I, uh, arrange marriage between you and, like, any one of my people that's actually young enough to give you babies. She's a bastard, but that means nothing. Um, look, I'll give you this 18-year-old, why do you not agree with it? Prestige effects, what? Oh my god, just... Get a young wife that can get you a bunch of kids. No, he does not agree with that one. Does he agree with uh, this one? No. Does he agree with the next one? We're just going down the road. Okay, yes, accept that. Mary, do not die without children. Okay, you have a kid. Why is this guy your heir? Again, why is that guy... The Rokaku will take the entirety of Hokkaido simply because... 
Oh no. Oh no 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 no. I will not let that happen. I accept your suggestion that Kima and Daimyo Hara get married. Okay, good. Yes, marry her. Wait, why did you go forward? I ordered you to get into Kanta and help with that siege right there. We are at 60 63% here. Let's quickly, before we lose control over Hokkaido, we definitely want to gain more control over Central Japan at least. Or rather, not Central Japan, just like this part of Japan. I don't know if um, Echizen over there, or rather, that's not Echizen, Musashi over there actually counts as Central Japan. I'm not too sure about that one. Okay, but let's hurry up, let's hurry up. Yeah, people are starting to get annoyed about the vassal levies race too long, but we're we're finishing off this war. Also, who are you at war with and why? Attacking Hosokawa. Oh, they're actually attacking the Hosokawa. They realize that they can't fight against us, so they're fighting against other people. Got it. Uh, accepted it. Peace offer. Yeah, so that peace offer was probably, yeah, that entire thing just went to them. Yeah, mm-hmm. Okay, so the Rokako and us are definitely going to continue being in a bitter <laughs> war. Uh, has declared Daimyo Okinokami Kosoji war to revoke? Sure. I don't care about you centralizing a little bit more. I really don't care about that. We're in good terms with you, I believe, so it is okay. Okay, victory in Shiroishi. Then why? Oh, right. This is why not. Oh, okay. Yeah, we won. We forced the man's. Bada beam, bada boom. Congratulations. This is now directly mine. Hello. Okay, so I can actually give the the claimant to the Uesugi lands in Ko in Musashi over here. No, wait. Can I no longer attack for that? Or is he just unwilling? Musashi. Can I not give you Grant Land? Oh, wait, you're already part of my lands? Hello, uh, would you like the land of Kanta? Am I about to make a gigantic mistake here? No. This guy is now one of my vassals, and I can. We can declare war. We cannot declare war because our units are still up, so let's get them back into Akumi quickly. Quickly, so we can quickly declare war on the Uesugi. Okay, get these guys up. Uh, army levies, boom boom. There. All right, so we should be able to declare war on the Uesugi straight away. Declare war for Musashi, for one of our lords. Yes, and the Rokaku will not be meddling in on this because they're busy fighting the Hosokawa. Perfect. Declare war, bada beam, bada boom. There we go. We have a war going on, but that war will simply have to wait for the next episode, everyone. Thank you very much for joining me. I have been Kaiser. I will see you guys next time. And until then, as always, if you like what I do, please do consider leaving a like, subscribe if you haven't yet shared these videos around. You know how it goes. I appreciate it so, so much. Thank you for all the help. I will see you next time. And until then, ad gloriam.